Hey guys, what's been happening? I thought I would get back into it. You know, I've been putting it off for so long and today is the day that I finally like do stuff about it. We are going to go pick up a fresh set of dash spears. This is something I should have done a very long time ago. We're actually going to go pick up some carbon dash spears. One's out of an FPV or like Shriek Pack or something like that. They look a heap better than the uh, orangey peely black ones. Uh, they should look really nice. I'm going to like wax them up and make sure they look even prettier. Um, but this will be the first time I've actually driven my car in five days. Like I actually... Sorry, there's so much background noise. Because I like work in the city now, I don't have any time or any reason to drive my car during the week now. I like literally just walk to the shops and do whatever. So, so this will be the first time in about five days that I've driven my car, and I'm so excited because I love driving my car. Anyway, um, let's go and do it. Hey, how I've missed you. This is what I have to live with. I have no idea on how to get past here. Don't touch the car, don't scratch it, don't do anything, thank you. Oh, how I've missed you, my love. I don't know why, but my car smells really odd for some reason, like, the interior smells like something something really bad. I haven't washed, I haven't like vacuumed it out in like two weeks, but I don't know, just because maybe my bike's in there. Oh yeah, I got a bike, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, um, it's very odd, but I guess I'll work it out. I mean, it's probably coming from the boot. The last time we went out, me and Sarah went for a, like a, a run, ride, jog sort of thing. And um, yeah, we're pretty sweaty. So maybe that was it. Maybe I have to shampoo my seats again. I don't know, I'll work it. The one day I leave to drive my car and it's raining. That's okay, because I have an NA6 and I have no power unless there's rain, so I'm happy. Don't get me wrong, I love the black dash spears. I'll quickly show you guys like the reason why I'm getting the other ones though. Like, I don't know if it will focus on them. You can kind of see that it's orange peely. Like, you can definitely tell that I have painted them. I mean like from a distance, they look really nice. And same as these ones here, like I love them. But like, they smudge. That's from Sarah. I don't know how she did that, how she created so much human slime that she's managed to do that. But, um, and also with people jumping in the car and then seeing that the black is all dusty because I barely got any time to like wash my car. You know, like you see people when they jump in and then it's all dusty and they go Ch -ch -ch. And like for, a, like for a job that I just did with the rattle cans, um, I can still see like, it's really stupid, but I can still see swirl marks in that. And that kind of annoys me because I hate seeing swirl marks at all in my car. I don't like them. I want this car to be absolutely perfect 24-7. Um, so yeah, me not cleaning them and then them getting dusty and it doesn't help that they're black and then people going all over them. Yeah, they get pretty scratched up. So today I'm finally changing them out to something I think you guys will really like and I bought some for Aiden as well. One thing that I definitely have to do is fix my wipers. <laughs> the fuck is that? I don't know if you guys can hear this, but my car is extremely poppy today for some odd reason. Let's see if I can do it. So I thought I should quickly show you guys these before I put them in um, because this will be the only time I'm out in light and yeah. So anyway, um, this is what I picked up this morning. They were 100 bucks each, which actually is a really good price for these um, for these carbon spears. Well, they're not really carbon, but this is what they look like. They are so much nicer than the black ones that I have. They, look, they have like a carbon fiber type look to them. Um, they come out of the XR50s and they're really, really quiet. They're actually pretty rare, to be honest. I got two sets today. Um, I got one for Aiden and one for me. Let's go and install them, finally. So I feel like I'm gonna be showing you guys this for like the 6,000th, billionth, gazillionth time. But we're gonna be installing the new dash spears. Um, I got a light here, so hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Um, hopefully. 
I really do hope. I might have to move it. So I don't know how well you guys can see it, but because of people going like ch -ch 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 all over it, it's like completely full of swirl marks. And like, you know, that's all right. I can get over that. I put the light up there, by the way. It's cool. So these are super easy to take out. Now, because of the fact that I have already taken them out three or four times now, super simple. Um, this piece here, when you're first taking it out, is so annoying. You have to take this out, get rid of the entire glove box assembly. Then there's two nuts. I can show you on this piece right here. There is two nuts that attach to the back of here. Basically, what they do is they are there so when you're driving and then you're crashing and then the airbag goes psh, your passenger doesn't get speared in the side of the neck with the dash spear. You could imagine airbag goes up, this piece stays there because of the nuts are there. If not, airbag goes off, dash spear literally spears you straight there through the heart and you die. However, I decided that my passenger's safety isn't that important, so I didn't put them back in. Um, once I find dash spears that I like, I will put them back in, and I'm pretty sure that'll be these ones. But yeah, how good do they look? So nice. Alright, I'm going to use my specialty trim removal tool and uh, not worry about the condition of these. This is going to be annoying as hell. Oh, look at that. How easy was that? See, once you've done them a couple of times, they literally just pop straight out. Ugh. This side here always gets annoying because I don't even care about breaking these, to be honest. I'm just going to have to quickly pop this side out too. Ha! <laughs> literally that simple going to quickly, I oh know, don't even have to open the door. Wow. So if you can imagine, those two nuts go straight through, oh, those two bolts go straight through there. It's so annoying because you can't get to them through there. Like, there's there's literally nothing there. So you have to actually take out the whole glove box assembly, get to those two, and then, yeah. So anyway, let's pop this one in, and let's see how she looks, hey? All right. Uh, do these have clips on the back? They do. Wow. It's incredible. All right, let's try this again, hey? This is just gonna go in straight away, isn't it? <laughs> Got it, guys. How's that? Brand new. That actually looks so much nicer in there. Like, oh my God, it actually has like some reflection. There is some swirls. No, actually that's probably just, um, yeah, that's actually just me and human slime. But they look so much nicer. I'll see if I can do on this phone too so you can see the proper looking heaps nicer this one here is a lot more simple I'm just gonna quickly shove my knife into the front and lift away how simple how elegant how if anyone wants to buy my old black dash spears Please hit me up, because they are for sale now, once they, these are for sale. If you want some incredible painted black dash spears, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I could run a giveaway, if you guys want a giveaway for these incredible dash spears, let me know. Alrighty, let's put these ones in. The worst thing about these ones is they're so susceptible to to scratching, which is so annoying. So I had to make sure that these ones were definitely gonna work. Ugh. I don't know about you guys, but that looks absolutely mental. So this is what they actually look like up close. They're kind of like a little bit of silver and black, like hex pattern, but the silver's got a little bit of like a speck through it. So it's really nice. They like, they shine really nicely once it there you go they shine really nicely it does have some swirl marks i will polish them out so don't stress about that guys cody's on cody's cody's got this cody's got this let's go do that side so this one here on the driver's side once again super simple down below your steering wheel i don't know if you guys can see that there's a little latch just pull that down your whole steering wheel assembly can move down as well so once you move that down don't worry i'm just going to quickly lock mine once you move that down, that, uh, that sets the steering wheel really low. So like, yeah, it's going to be quite an uncomfortable position to be in if you're really, uh, really tall and uh, big. Um, 
but I'm really small, so I'm completely fine with that. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to be taking this little bit out, which I don't... Let's hope this can shine some light in the situation. You take out the little plastic piece, super simple, um, and then you take out the little rubber pieces down behind it, which stops all the dirt from going down into your, uh, into your column. Um, and then you can actually take this out from the top and, oh, for, sorry, from the bottom and then it flips out of the top. So it's super simple. Um, actually, I don't know whether my new ones will have this little cutout for my... Ooh. Oh my God, please tell me I've Okay, so stupid me. I have a button there which basically, if I push it, moves my pedals back and forward. So yeah, it moves my pedals back and forward. Anyway, that's right there. <laughs> Go me. I'm not gonna be able to have that button anymore. If there is another FG out there that actually has that button, please let me know. Because I have never seen another FG with that button. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I have never seen another FG with that button. I always forget how to take this little bit out. It's so painful and annoying. So once you get that little plastic piece out, it's fairly straightforward. So, ugh, if you guys can see down there, there's like a little... Oh, I hate doing this in such darkness. Um, you guys can see there's like a little, um, little thing there. Uh, basically that stops. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can... That's better. So yeah, if you guys can see, there's like a little uh, rubber piece that goes in there. Literally, it's just like little tiny rubber clips that's there. You just take them out, trying not to break the little rubber clips. It's so simple though. Uh, you guys can see my amazing painting. And then literally lift it up from the bottom. So I'm going to get my uh, knife and lift it up from the bottom. And then it, and then it just comes out really simply. Um, and then you slide it sort of, you gotta try and twist it in a certain manner, like you gotta try and grab it and then, oh, I'm trying to get you guys a good angle. You have to try and do that and then pull it out from the bottom so that way you don't break off this bit because this is really flimsy and you don't wanna crack that. So when you pull it out from the bottom, it releases all the pressure from the top and you can kind of like lever, lever it out because the top of it is actually clipped up under here. You want to lever this out so that way you don't put any pressure up on the top. So don't mind the dash mat. I just thought I'd put it up there because I have it. And um, I still don't know if I like it. I actually don't really like dash mats at all. I reckon they they just make it look a little bit messy and disgusting to be honest. But check out those dash beers. They look absolutely incredible. Like I love just the 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 tone of them. I like I like the way they work with the car. They are a little bit busy. Um, just because of the, the design in them, but when you're just sort of glancing over them, you know, they look really nice. I mean, what you guys don't see on the camera is the fact that they actually do have this little pattern through them. Um, whenever, it, there you go, you can actually see that pattern through them. So obviously when you stand back here, um, they just look like silver spears, but they are, they do have a pattern. They do look pretty busy. Um, I'm sure without the dash mat though, they'd look a lot. Yeah. So even still then, they look super duper clean. Like I really like them. Yeah. How gnarly are these wipers? <laughs> right, so now that I've actually managed to get that sorted, um, I actually have an issue where, I'm not quite sure what it is, I believe it's actually my dip bushes or possibly just some other bushes that are in the back. Um, unfortunately, I do have an issue where I believe I've, I've done a couple of bushes, um, which in a falcon are not cheap. They're very um, susceptible to breaking um, and wearing out. So I won't be able to drive my car again. So, yeah. After just flying them, I sort of came home and they were pretty bad. I knew they were bad, I knew I had to replace them, but I didn't realise that they were going to deteriorate so quickly. And um, yeah, coming back from my drive today, I'm glad I got out of my drive today because it'll probably be my last for like another two weeks or so. Um, unfortunately, this is just the way that the Falcons are. 
but I do not mind at all. I mean, it'd be nice to have some Super Pro ones or something in there. Um, unfortunately, it's probably going to cost about $1,600, which, to be honest, I'd probably just sell the Falcon and <laughs> buy something different, like a GTT R34 or something. But, oh well. I like my car, it's nice and clean. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing heaps more awesome YouTube content very soon, so remember to stay tuned and I will see you all very soon. Oh, before I do that, I bought a bike. I'm literally the Adam LZ of Australia. And look, if you guys want Zach Lordy stickers, hit me up and I will send you some. Well, don't, you know, go on the website, www.zachlordy.com. Yeah. It's like, I think it's like two years old. It's an academy, um, complete, and it was like, I bought it for 250 bucks. So, I can't complain. I really like it, and I've been enjoying like, just riding around, going to and from the gym and stuff. Well, I haven't been to the gym yet, but I'm gonna sign up for one hopefully this week. But yeah, it's been really cool, just like riding around and chilling, and it fits in the back of my car, so I'm super, super happy. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of whatever day is, which is raining and contemplating whether I should sell my car or not. But anyway, I will see you all very soon. Peace out.